In this video, we're taking a look at the comics I'm getting out of the 17 long box collection that I bought. I'm finding that the comics I'm getting out are going to fit into one of three categories. And we're going to take a look at five comics from each one of those categories. Stay tuned. Welcome to What's on the Rack. I'm Mr. Akins. If you're new here and you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Links to everything mentioned in the video can be found in the description below. So let's get started. The first and only collection I ever bought was 17 long boxes. So over the past couple months I've been going through these long boxes and finding comics and deciding what am I going to do with these comics. And what I'm finding is these comics are going to fit in one of three categories. Category one, I'm going to keep this. Category two, I'm going to sell this. And category three, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. So we're going to start off with category one, things that I'm keeping. As I'm going through the collection, I'm finding these beautiful pieces of art because that's what they are, beautiful pieces of art by Alex Ross. I found a section where there was a run of JSA and there was a run of Justice Society of America. Now, I can tell that these were 2005, 2007. That was a period of time when I wasn't collecting, but I remember the first... Alex Ross art I ever saw was in Kingdom Come. So I picked the best of the best from this collection. This is number 77 with the Green Lantern. 78 with some old school flash. Justice Society number 7. That's a beautiful cover as well. Justice Society number 9. and Justice Society number 10. Now there was almost a complete run of these. Of course, once I started going through the collection, eight out of 10 times, any number ones were taken out of the collection. So for this Justice Society, I have number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but these were the ones I chose to put in the video. These are the ones I like the best. We're going to move on to category two, things that I'm selling. All the things I sell, I sell on eBay. So I've got a listing for each one of these. Here's the first one, Fallen Angel. I have a lot of Image, Valiant, those type of comics in this collection. I um, also came across this in the collection the other day. In Country, Nam. Um, it was... A golden size when I first got this comic I thought well, hey it's gonna fit in a normal size bag no more size board it wouldn't fit so I'm, I said maybe this is a silver age went to a silver age it wouldn't fit in it as well but this is a golden age size comic I've never seen this comic before and it is a number one cross gen comics number three sigil Never heard of this comic before. In fact, I haven't read it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on eBay. Some of these I'm reading. Some of them I'm not. If it looks really interesting, I'll read it. I haven't read this one. I just went ahead and decided to put this one on eBay. Salvation Run, number one. I decided to put this one on eBay. Um, I've got more than one copy of it. And this is the copy i am decided to put on eBay. Same with the Ultimates. I had more than one copy of this. I had one that I had bought. There was an initial copy in the collection. And then this one right here I decided to put on eBay. So that's category two. Comics I'm putting on eBay. Or comics I'm planning on selling. Now moving on to category three. Category three, what am I going to do with these comics? I've got a Force Works number one. There is a lot, a lot of dirt on this. This was some type of pop-up issue. You know, I remember buying this when it first came out. 
I've never tried to pop this out, but this is in such bad shape, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Aquaman number four. This one is also in very bad shape. It's got holes all the way through. In addition, I had about 16 copies of that. This one wasn't even bagged. There's another comic that is in incredibly bad shape. X Factor number 70. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one. I do have that one in my personal collection though. X Factor 102. This was another comic that wasn't bagged and it was in pretty bad shape. Got a lot of tears at the top. A lot of dirt on it. But it does have these cards in the center. One thing when I read this card, I got cards with venom on it, super strength, immune to spider sense, and vulnerable to fire. Didn't realize venom was vulnerable to fire. I thought it was sonic type attacks that he was vulnerable to. And the last comic I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, Superman Man of Steel number five. There's a, a lot of water damage on this, a lot of tears, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I can't sell it, and I do have this one already in my collection. And it says this side up. That's because to read it, you need to turn it in this direction. So those are the five comics that fit in Category 3. What am I going to do with this? More than likely, I'm going to set up a box next year during Halloween and have it on my porch. And when trick-or-treaters come up, I'm going to say... Hey, grab you a comic as you go. So that's category three. What am I going to do with this? So there you have it. The latest update of what I'm finding in my 17 long box collection purchase. One of my goals with this collection was to make my money back. And I'm two thirds of the way there. If you're interested in any of the comics I'm selling, check out the links in the description below. Also comment below. What do you do with badly damaged comics that you can't sell? and you already have in your collection. Until next time, see you around the comic rack.